Hi guys. Okay, so I wanted to do the Mommy 2.0 tag. I did the first tag a while ago, um, but I figured I would just do the second one now. Uh, so let's just get started. Oh, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading them off of my phone. And um, I hope the lighting is okay, but like I'm in my room. Uh, so, and I'm filming off of my laptop because my camera died. So, ugh. Okay, number one, how many children do you have and how old are they? I have two children right now. I have a nine-year-old, uh, my daughter's nine, and my son is four, and then I am currently pregnant. Uh, number two, what's your proudest moment as a mom of your children? Um, when they're getting along together, like not wanting to kill each other, then it's like a proud moment for me. So, number three, what's your most frustrating moment as a mom? Probably when my son cut his hair um, because his hair is really long and he just cut like a bald spot at the top. So yeah, that was, <sighs> wow. Number four, how do you discipline your child or children? Um, for the most part, we do timeouts and um, they get grounded. They have their iPads and iPods or tablets or whatever taken away no tv time early bedtime no dessert stuff like that um sometimes it's like a swat on the butt open hand over the clothes um but for the most part we do punishment like grounding and stuff like that number five cursing do you do it in front of your child or children we don't do it on purpose obviously but if it happens, they know that it's a bad word. Um, they know not to say it. Uh, and usually they'll tell us that it's a bad word. So, um, yeah, if it happens, it happens. But we don't do it on purpose. Number six, do you think your relationship has changed since you've had, a, since you've had your child or children, for better or for worse? Um, yes, I think it's changed. Uh, I think everyone's relationship kind of changes when you have kids just because it's not all about, you know, the two of you anymore. It's, you know, you and your kids. Uh, well, it's your kids and, you know, you have to deal with what your kids are going through before yourself. So, um, but I think our relationship has gotten, um, better since we've become parents. Um... Number seven, since becoming a mom, do you find yourself acting more like your own mom? Um, no, I have found myself like saying things that um, are, you know, reacting to things like my mom has reacted to them or said something. But like, I, I'm not like, oh, my God, I'm turning into my mom. Like, it's not like that. Uh, number eight, how are your relationships with your girlfriends? Um, a lot of my friends live out of state, so... Uh, we usually communicate online and stuff like that or over the phone or through text message. Um, my friends that don't have kids, we, you know, see each other when we can, but they're kind of, you know, doing their thing and I'm doing mine because, you know, they don't have kids. So we kind of have, you know, two completely different schedules. Um, your favorite place to take your child or children. Uh, it was Chuck E. Cheese, but my daughter, like, hates mascots now ever since Chucky's head fell off at a party once. So, she refuses to go there. So, I think I like taking them to, like, pet stores and, um, the park and water parks and stuff like that. Just anywhere where we can, like, you know, have fun as a family and everyone gets to do something and something for everyone. Uh... Number 10, your least favorite place to take your child or children. Um, the grocery store, it, the mall, any store for that matter where they can beg for something or any store, period. Just, I don't want to hear you. Mommy, can I have this? Mommy, can I have that? Are we done yet? Can we leave? I'm so bored. Oh my God. Like, <sighs> number 11. Piercing baby's ears, do or don't. Um, I pierced my daughter's ears when she was a baby. Uh, we are still discussing whether or not we're going to pierce our daughter's ears when she's born. Um, I would like to, but my husband's like still on the fence about it, so we shall see. Uh, number 12, 
favorite skincare for you and your child or children? Um, favorite skincare for me right now has to be my Aveeno lotion because um, my skin's been really like itchy and ooh, excuse me, itchy and stuff since I've been pregnant. And for the kids, probably like Johnson Johnson, um, Jergens, um, Vaseline brand, like anything that's like you know delicate on the skin for them, then that's good for them. Number 13, must have mommy makeup item. Um, for me, foundation, well, it would actually be like three things. It would be foundation, mascara, and an eyebrow pencil because you can use an eyebrow pencil for eyeliner also. And then probably concealer because those are like the main things that I use to, you know, put on my face when I don't want to look and or feel dead when I'm going out like I just want to look presentable like in a quick fashion that's what I'll use um number 13 bath or shower for you and your children um shower for me definitely sometimes I'll take a bath but for the most part it's showers because if I am trying to take a, a quiet bath the bath is in the um children's the bath is in the kids bathroom um, we have we just have a shower in ours, and if I'm going in the kids' bathroom, I'll never get left alone. So it's mostly shower for me. For the kids, like if they really want a bath, then I'll give them, you know, I'll let them take a bath. Um, but for the most part, like weekdays, school, stuff like that, they get showers too. Um, number fifteen. Are you back to your pre-baby weight? No, because I am currently pregnant. Uh, number 16, college dreams. Do you expect them to go or are you going to let them decide for themselves? Um, I We do expect them to go to college. We would like them to go to college. Um, education is very important. Um, I don't care what they want to go to college for. You know, whatever it interests you, whatever you love to do, I'm not going to knock you for it. You know, I'm in the beauty industry. I go to cosmetology school. And so I wouldn't be like, oh, why would you do that? Because blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I never want to discourage them from education at all. So, you know, whatever they want to do, I would fully support them. But we definitely want them to go to college. Number 17, one show your child or children loves that you secretly hate. Oh, they both, like, loved Caillou. Like, oh, God, I just really can't stand that cartoon. Like, he whines. I just, his voice... I'd rather watch Door the Explorer all day. Uh, number 18. Cloth diapers, yay or nay? Um, I would like to cloth diaper this time. I did not cloth diaper my son or my daughter. Um, but I would like to try cloth diapering this time. So we are, um, you know, doing our research on that. Well, mostly me. But we're, you know, trying to figure out what we're going to do. But for the most part, I'd like to cloth diaper this time. Uh, number 19, finish this sentence. You know you're a mom when you are hiding in the car or the closet or the bathroom or in your bedroom or anywhere eating a snack or a candy bar or something because you don't want to share with your children. And number 20, have you done the first mommy tag? Yes, I have. And I will link it below so that way you um, can watch that one if you haven't seen it. So that is it for this video. I will put the questions also for this tag in the bottom. And um, I tag anyone that wants to do it, to do it that hasn't done it already, obviously. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.